Young volunteers go on the road, exposing quackery and fraud and seeking godmen to confront. Their target today is a fakir called Mr. Ali, who is using a bizarre therapy to treat the sick. His patients come with all sorts of ailments to sit in a magic square he has marked in the dirt and undergo his ritual of purification. Medical quackery is one of the rationalist's main targets. In the country areas where they campaign, the local doctor is often absent, working in the city where there's a better income to be made. The gap is filled by healers with magical rather than medical skills. Having baptized her with the healing flame, the fakir gives his patient a cotton band, a charm to complete the cure. As far as the rationalists are concerned, these faith healers are frauds, exploiting ignorance and need for personal gain. As his mullah recites verses from the Quran, Mr. Ali makes fireballs by throwing a mixture of camphor and resin through a flaming torch. It's simple chemistry, made to look like magic. This is not the first time the rationalists have come to confront this fakir, but public exposure has done little to harm his reputation, so they are ready to have another go. The fakir sets great store by his rituals. Onlookers are strictly instructed to keep outside the magic square and to keep their hands by their sides to ensure that the magic works. Prabir gives the fakir a few minutes to display his skills before making his move. So he was a total fraud. He said that if you keep your hands, hands clasped, there won't be any fireball. But you see, we have done the fireball. We have kept all our hands folded, but still there was the fireball. Whether it is, whether it is within this uh, square area or not, it doesn't matter. You come out of the square area, then also there will be the fireball. <laughs> The rationalists may have won over some of the local people, but the fakir is not giving in. 